Imagine we could travel to another star in just a few days, explore the vastness of the universe, and defy the laws of physics in the process. Does that sound like pure science fiction to you? But what if I told you that we are now closer to this dream than ever before? It's safe to say we're on the verge of a breakthrough. Scientists are making warp drive closer than you think. Until now, warp drive has been a dream and a technical possibility for a long time. It was considered pure science fiction until one brave researcher proved that it is possible. The feasibility of faster-than-light travel has long been proven mathematically, but until now, we have lacked the practical means to turn the calculations on paper into reality. The warp drive had one major weakness. According to Einstein's physics, no matter in the universe can travel faster than light. So how could we then transport a spaceship and ourselves through space and time? Science fiction writers already had a solution more than 70 years ago. Spaceships that are able to create a space-time distortion and thus glide through space and time without overcoming the distances in the world of matter. The warp drive basically tricks Einstein's physics and simply circumvents its laws by slipping the spaceship through a fold in space-time. In science fiction formats such as Star Trek, the heroes ignite the famous drive and the spaceship visually dissolves into time and space only to reappear a few moments later at a randomly distant point in the universe. For a long time, scientists thought that this was pure nonsense, but then a few brave souls set about testing whether warp drive was theoretically possible. And it is. That much is certain. We only have a few small problems to solve in order to travel faster than light through the universe. In addition to the barriers of the relativity equations, another problem has arisen the energy we would need to distort space-time cannot currently be generated or calculated. Researchers have been looking for a solution to the energy problem for decades, and now the breakthrough is here. Solitons are stable waves that can create a warp bubble. Solitons are extremely stable waves in space. It's actually unbelievable what idea scientists have now hatched, but it could work. Solitons are positive energy waves that conduct energy in such a way that the demand for energy is reduced. In nature, solitons are stable, self-sustaining waves that occur in different environments. You have to think of them as a form of energy, a structure, or a transport medium, which is also used in high-speed data cables. The best property of solitons is their constancy. They maintain their shape and speed over long distances, and are stable even after collisions with other solitons or obstacles. This immutability is rare in nature, and this is exactly what we need for warp propulsion. Solitons are therefore not matter in the classic sense, nor are they energy, but a special form of energy transfer. These waves are not actually new. They were first discovered in the 19th century when a scientist observed extremely stable yet mobile waves in water channels. In telecommunications, solitons are used in fiber optic cables where they carry signals over long distances without loss of shape or speed. In quantum field theory, solitons are so stable that they have almost particle-like properties, and yet they are waves. As this special form between wave and particle, they are practically the bridge between potential and matter. If you are familiar with quantum theories, then you know that quanta are waves until they are measured and become particles. Theoretically, quanta have both states at the same time, wave and particle. But to us humans, they appear as solid matter when measured. Incidentally, this mystery of quantum physics and the reality of our material world is still as incompatible with Einstein's physics as the warp drive. However, quantum mechanics, solitons, and space-time distortions show us that there may be many more dimensions than the familiar three or four dimensions of space-time. Once we have cracked these dimensions, the path for humans into space could be clear. Solitons are therefore an interesting thing when it comes to overcoming the barriers of the material world. These waves have already proven several times that they can be effective solutions to some mathematical problems. A German physicist had an ingenious idea. Dr. Eric Lentz was the first to come up with the idea that solitons could be the solution to the energy problem. 
It's possible that these waves will not only bring us the first superluminal drives, but also solve our earthly energy and electricity problem. The waves can multiply energy. Imagine how a medium amount of energy is fed into a system that actually consumes a lot of energy. Because solitons are extremely stable and self-sustaining, energy in these waves can be reused at will and possibly also bundled and intensified. This is exactly how we could apply the force to distort space-time around a spaceship to create a fold. To make this possible, we need to create a so-called warp bubble. The bubble constricts the space in front of the spaceship and expands it behind it. The compression means that the spaceship has to cover less distance to move forward. The expansion, on the other hand, pushes back the space that the spaceship has already passed. It all seems like a magic trick, but Mikhail Alcubierre already proved 20 years ago that this is possible in accordance with our physics. This constriction and expansion create the warp bubble, which remains a stable area throughout the entire journey of the fictitious spaceship in which the laws of normal physics are temporarily suspended. However, an enormous amount of energy is needed to create these spatial distortions, and Alcubierre was unable to solve this problem. Instead, other scientists took up his work and soon showed that there should theoretically be exotic forms of energy that provide us with energy. However, exotic energy and negative energy have a catch. So far, they are only constructs and have not been proven in reality. So where should we get this energy from or generate it in the foreseeable future if we don't even know whether it exists? Dr. Eric Lentz from the University of Göttingen in Germany has now found a positive and available form of energy in the form of solitons to make warp drive possible in purely mathematical terms. Solitons, ions, nucleons, or rather soliton cells could be key. The question remains as to how we want to solve the propulsion system in general. If solitons provide us with a form of energy, we still need a classical drive to distribute the energy and achieve the distortion. What could something like this look like? One of the best known and most commonly used technologies are ion thrusters. These engines are characterized by particularly high efficiency and would therefore be ideal for long missions in space. The way ion thrusters work is based on the electrical acceleration of ions, which generates thrust. With this technology, we could achieve very slow but steady acceleration over long periods of time. Incidentally, ion thrusters were also used in the Voyager probes, which have now been traveling through the universe for more than 45 years. The disadvantage so far, however, is that ion thrusters only offer low thrust. This limited thrust means that acceleration is relatively slow, which would significantly increase the travel time for interstellar distances in the classic form. However, the technology is far from exhausted, and we will have to see what progress will be made in this area. Another promising technology for spaceships of the future is the solar sail. Solar sails use the pressure of photons emitted by the sun or other light sources, Simulations have shown that this technology could be particularly efficient for long-distance travel, and it requires virtually no fuel. Now, imagine how combinations with soliton technology can extract enormous potential from small amounts of light. Spaceships could virtually recharge themselves on stars, and then cover distances with an almost infinite charge. Solar sails are very thin materials, and they only work if they have a very low mass per square meter. In spaceships traveling normally through the world of matter, they would possibly be susceptible to defects or destruction. But when traveling through space-time folds, the sails would encounter virtually no resistance. Missions within the solar system will already be equipped with such sails in the coming years. NASA's light sail project is currently underway to advance the technology. Last but not least, there are still nuclear propulsion systems which are not yet completely obsolete. These technologies are once again under discussion, particularly in the context of upcoming space missions such as flights to the Moon and Mars. Nuclear propulsion systems can provide significantly higher thrust compared to ion engines or solar sails, which is of course tempting. 
However, nuclear technology has also brought us humans some problems, and spaceships with radiating reactors on board are questionable solutions for long journeys through space in our age. When it comes to warp drives, the pioneer of this research should not be left out. There is an expert in the USA who discovered a natural warp bubble a few years ago and has been working intensively on the use of the technology ever since. Dr. Harold G. Sani White used to be a top scientist at NASA. He has since become self-employed and runs the Limitless Space Institute with the help of international sponsors. Dr. White had almost given up his search for solutions to warp drive when a strange discovery came to him by chance. While investigating the structure of Casimir cavities, which actually served a completely different purpose, Sonny White found a natural warp bubble. It's created when physical forces act between two metal plates at a very small distance, which scientists refer to as the Casimir effect. This natural warp bubble is smaller than one millimeter, but it's very real. Dr. White's discovery further shows that it's possible to create a warp bubble with positive energy sources, and this is where solitons come back into play. If we combine the work of Dr. Eric Lentz and Sonny White, we could enter entirely new realms of physics. Current estimates and research suggest that the practical application of warp drive is still decades away. The technical and energy challenges are still considerable. But we are talking about practical use and the first space journeys with warp spaceships. Sonny White is optimistic that we will have the first prototypes of a fully functional warp drive within 10 years.